Okay, welcome class to um, week seven. And we have our first exam. And uh, I'm going to talk about this. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge workload this week. Uh, but I wanted to just mention some things to help make it uh, easier. <clears throat> but before I move forward, I also just kind of want to do what I usually do, which is give you a little bit more background or insight in some of the topics we've been going over. And I want to explain just a little bit. And I'm going to actually do further explanation at another time as to why I just posted this video, the, the, the last announcement clip on neo-Germanic paganism in those videos. Um, as a person into history, uh, I'm interested in any kind of um, movements that where people want to re, uh, uh, have a revival of some older cultural customs or something. Then I find that, in a personal level, I just find it interesting. And as someone that is has um, European ancestry, I find that also interesting. And uh, why I just kind of posted this is that um, when I started exploring my Scottish, Swedish, and uh, British, uh, ba basically, basically my, my my family background comes from the British Isles, Germany. I recently found out some French and Sweden. So that's it, right? So Scotland, my last name is Scottish Irish. My mother's maiden name is Swedish. And um, and on both sides uh, of that, there's a lot, a lot of German. So I took a lot of interest, more interest in this, I guess, because I'm getting older and I don't know, you know, look, looking into the background. And, and, and I was finding all these kind of this cultural cultural heritage stuff to be fascinating and and gra naturally you gravitate towards things that you probably like you can identify directly to or, or to know that this is what your ancestors came from but then i discovered all this nationalist stuff and racist stuff kind of popping getting embedded into some of these different things that i was looking at and um it disturbed me and also just confused me and i i wanted to explore more now I just want to say something that the, the two videos that I posted um, I don't have a strong background on what to make of them and entirely like um, I've listened to more songs by found and uh, um, not so much the other one it's a little bit <laughs> intense to say the least with the bones and stuff but uh, again why I wanted to show this to you is that um, culture, you, we're seeing right now with the, I, I talk about tumultuous times, there are a lot of artistic groups that have other agendas and it's just something I want us to be aware of and be understanding. Now, what what else is going on here? I, and, and again, I'm going to point out this a little bit more later because prior to Christianity that Rome basically imposes on the world and that's how it does. You're going to see this, especially as we go on later on, that Christianity comes through missionaries, but also just as much as the sword. In fact, Islam and Christianity come to the world mainly by the sword. That's a fact. It's a fact. You can debate if it's real Christianity or real Islam, okay, but it's state power. In other words, it's an imperial set of states that make it happen. Now, the Germanic world, your Europeans, and were basically tribal clan chiefs, ancestral gods, worshipped na natural places, trees, lakes. These are things that we see in traditional uh, uh, cultures, tribal societies of Africa, and even the continent of North America, right? So what, what kind of blew me away is just understanding that so many of us that, that our society thinks looks at western civilization as superior and we look down on the people that had tribal societies and took advantage of them and talked about them being savages and all that but look at these new movements uh the new kind of neo-germanic paganist movements notice like if you saw that just a part of that video or just the way the people are dressed with the bones and uh the furs they kind of come off right like they're like almost like Native Americans because that's actually the, because that's that's really that they're not being doing cultural appropriation of somebody else that's actually like emulating a pre-christian like an imagination a fantasy 
based somewhat maybe in some historical truth of what uh, ancestors from say Germany or, or other parts of the uh, of Europe would have been like. Um, but instead of seeing the solidarity, seeing the fact that we're that we have all this commonality of other peoples, those groups are now like kind of uh, using that to be very anti-Muslim in particular. Uh, um, and we're going to talk about Islam in the in the Western world uh, next week, by the way. So all of this kind of converges. The issue of Islam, Christianity, and Rome, and modern politics, it all like converges together. So I'm just hoping that you are, are, are pre what I want you to see is how what we're learning right now, even though it's the past, has so many uh, reverberations, many uh, effects that are taking place right now uh, uh, with all like with the, within the world, and and then specifically what we're talking about is in the context of West, the Western world. Okay. All right. Having said that, let's move on quickly to the exam. Um, it's a two-page. Uh, uh, basically paper and then you have another paper so okay we don't have a discussion this week but we do have notes now look um, the exam is just like our Sunday paper you're just doing a little bit more of it but we're going to be talking about Rome and uh, Greek influence and then we're going to have uh, a paper on um, the the Eastern Church and the Western Church, and the, and the differences between them, and so it's a little bit of a of a challenge, but um, you guys can do it. This is the hardest part I'll, I'll ever get in my class, and this will be harder. This week will be the harder than like I'll just say this than the finals week, um, and it's only hard because it's it's just more work than usual. It's not because I'm actually grading you in a different way or expecting something different, okay? And what I really want you to understand is the subject matter and to really, really, really um, absorb this concept that there was a Western and Eastern Roman Empire. We're mainly focusing on the Western, but I want you to understand the difference in the existence of the other. So if there's any questions on that, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, you guys are doing great, and I think that... Um, I just want to keep encouraging you, keep moving forward, and um, as always, hit me up if you need anything during the week, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I work tomorrow all day, and then I am available to, at your service Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. All right. Have a good week.